It's here. It's here. Season five of Riders Republic went live today and the community is finally riding in a winter wonderland. Today, we'll have those patch notes along with our thoughts. Welcome back to the Riders Report. Before we get started today, we want to recognize our existing YouTube members. A special thank you goes out to Executive Producers Bonecrusher 2D, Coach34, My Mom, and Robert G, and our fans and fans plus. If you'd like to become a member for as low as 99 cents a month and help support our channel, you can hit join below to learn more about perks like early access to the Riders Report, emojis and badges, a members only video per month, sneak peeks, and more. Season 5 is here and the trailer is playing in the background. They've also dropped the patch highlights, improvements, and the major and minor issues fixed, which we'll be talking about in the main topic. But before we get to the main topic, time is ticking down to submit your clips for the Nick and Mitch winter holiday music video. It is filmed in a punk rock style, so send us your best punk rock clips from the game they can be stills they can be clips they can be full line runs just send us whatever you have through the link down in the description it's going to let you know what we need when we need it and we can't wait to see what you put up for this music video all right well let's get into it it's time Season five of Riders Republic Winter Wonderland released today, December 14th, 2022. Those patch notes were released on Tuesday, the 13th, uh, and we are reading them down today, a day late. But, you know, it it comes with the release of the of the uh, the season. So without further ado, let's run this baby down. And they always come at the weird time where the actual most of the updates come on Wednesday, which is when the video launches. So we don't get to play it yet but we do get to see the patch notes. So we get to talk about it and then we say, oh, I hope it's like this. And then it's not the next day when we actually get to try (laughs) it. Right, right. But we can uh, start with the patch highlights, which are some of the biggest things that they have. And the first is that weekly challenges are now completely free, which I don't think we were expecting, but yeah. No. Now you don't have to pay $2,000 to unlock five stars or a t-shirt, which is going to help me who is very strapped for cash in the game. They also leaderboards are have some changes and now out of the beta form so now they're the official leaderboards and they have some improvements to make it more fair so now you cannot climb back up the hills to get the best jump again and again and again which is great as well i think that was in steep where you couldn't go back up the hill but that's out of the leaderboards which will help with some of the scores yeah just slowly chipping away at those little details to make the game more competitive as we keep going it's you know we always expect some massive change to happen that is going to like, boom, this is now an esports competitive game. But it's going to be little things like this where they're chipping away. You know, um, that's 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 perfect. Mass races are now also going to enjoy that weekly level system. So I'm assuming what that's when they reset every week for mass races. Yeah, I think like what you got in Tricks Battle and right. the other playlists where you start at level one and you can get up. So just shows you kind of how you're doing progress wise, which I'm sure is nice for the mass race community who's still up there. They yeah. also are going to have new seasonal elements. So you got to come back every week to see them all. Of course, sure we're getting Christmas stuff, holiday stuff and everything that we would want for the winter. All right now, I do want to go back to the mass races thing and the weekly level system. If we are resetting mass races every week, and I know this isn't the same as like tricks battles or whatever, but if we're resetting the weekly levels, I kind of want like weekly maps Mm -hmm. to change, you know, like there should be a different map every week. And that's not saying a brand new map every week, but it should be a different, like one week we're riding map a through D the next map we're riding the next four or whatever that may be some sort of system that it's not just completely refreshing over the same things, same things over and over again. Yeah. They could at least maybe find like a highlighted race that they try and do Mm -hmm. several times throughout the week. So everyone can attend it, but you get to do those three races once and then 
it takes your best time and does the leaderboard kind of like the steep world tour or something. I feel like it's going to move in that direction though. If they're adding weekly levels to mass races, I think they want to make it more friendly for the competitive community that's doing it right now. Yeah. I was going to say, this is going to keep the competitors, the time trialers, the, uh, the leaderboard, you know, seekers in the game. So, uh, yeah, again, just chipping away to make this game, you know, exactly what we want. And along with those little tiny chips down the road, Sub Rosa is now a full sponsor that is available for the owners of the BMX career. So if you haven't already purchased that BMX career add on, uh, and you can get Sub Rosa gear as well. And of course, you know, a lot of this isn't holiday related. There are some beefy patches in here that are just general for the game. But getting back to the winter wonderland, getting back to the holiday season, the very first time you launch the game, which some of you may have already seen it before the video airs. Uh, but the first time you launch the game in season five, you're going to be welcomed back with a season trailer. So they're telling you, get your popcorn and enjoy the show. And if it's anything like the trailer that released yesterday, it's going to be wonderful. I always love the winter, the holiday themed, you know, patches, DLCs, whatever you want to call them in any game, uh, dating back way back to GTA five on the PS3 when they put snow all across Los Santos. Just magical. It's such a magical time for video games. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and one of the, the final patch highlight that you wish. Yeah, it <laughs> somewhat is. It's weird that this just came out of nowhere. Now, when you're walking or running, you can jump. So you just got to press A for Xbox, X for PlayStation or up on keyboards and you can jump. So I think this was actually teased in a clip a week or two or three ago, something mm -hmm. that Riders Republic posted on Twitter. It had a guy jumping, but you can jump and then change your sport. So I saw some cool videos and I know one like you can jump and then pull out that snow skateboard, <sighs> snow skate. So jump, oh. pull out the snow skateboard, kind of like when you're skating and you jump on your board. Yes, mm -hmm. that. OK, so that <laughs> you just completely turned my brain uh, 180 with that patch note. I saw it and I'm like, cool, you can jump. But as a creative element, you can like jump into the bowl. You can jump into a feature, or do whatever else, you know, cliff jump off the thing, select your sport and then you're going down. So, yeah, OK for the creators out there for the the thrill seekers that is a massive patch i can't wait to get in and start uh jumping around so those were the main patch highlights for this season but one of them that was left out and it is the next one in the bullet point list but it's just one of the improvements i think it's one of the most important things on here the giant screen in riders ridge is now available to play videos the the screen can play videos with audio this is huge. I mean, you are going to be able to control the screen, the audio, the volume and all that in your options. But this just opens the door to something that we've been saying since pre beta. Mm -hmm. We need to host a global TFG premiere on the Riders Ridge screen. We need to get everyone into the ridge, sit down with your popcorn, like they said in these this week's patch notes and sit down and watch a TFG competition in the Riders Ridge in the game. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. The screen can do it now. I am very interested to see what they put on there. I'm sure mm -hmm. some of it will be like the season trailer that welcomes you now. Stuff like that will be up there, but I think it needs to have community content. We've talked about that a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Games like Uncharted with Uncharted TV and the crew like the crew two in your garage has a TV that shows some community content. Now I know music's going to be an issue, but even muted stuff, if people just submit some of their cool tricks, their cool runs, and that can be showing on the screen or you have different featured things like where steep steeps top five is up there, right? People will make content for that screen and make sure that it's compatible as long as that's an option. And yeah. who knows, maybe they'll have some live events on there too. I've seen that in games too. Maybe the, uh, Sometimes the devs jump on and play Riders Republic. They could have that live streaming while you're in the bowl and have a giant watch party. Oh, that would be a ton of fun. And yeah, just the, the last thing that I've been thinking about is the audio element of the giant screen. Um, it's just a matter of time before something very obnoxious pops up on the giant screen and it's playing some weird noise that nobody likes. Uh, so I think... I would think the next adjust adjustment in the game would be switching the audio, like the mute button or the ad audio adjuster for the giant screen, taking that out of the options menu and throwing it as a quick button mm -hmm. in the ridge. 
like you're going to need to press, you know, R3 or whatever, just to mute that screen. People are going to be so fed up if they start putting like weird whip, whatever <laughs> up on that screen, ruining the chi of the ridge. Oh, yeah, I will make sure that we make a Brett's Burgers like 30 second TV spot for that screen. Oh, my God. Stuff yeah, like that. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's make a commercial. OK, stay tuned for the Nick and Mitch Brett's Burgers commercial coming soon. If you're not a member, uh, consider becoming a member of the channel here because you will get first access before uh, we sell it to the devs at Riders Republic. Um, just rounding out the highlights here on the patch, the uh, styling, the stylistic, the the shop, your your dress, your clothes, folks. Uh, the preview of your avatar in the shop that helps you decide which pants are going to fit best has been fixed. So again, we haven't seen the game <laughs> as of recording this, so we can only hope that it's a little more intuitive as you're putting your player together. Uh, but, you know, shop highlights, shop improvements happening every single patch, which is is massive for the community. This one should be good, too, because I know right now or before the patch, you have to go into pants, select those pants, then go into a different thing to like mm -hmm. look at the shirts. So I'm assuming this means you can like pick pants, shirt, hat, and then apply all at once. So you can actually preview, like make your outfit before you commit to it instead of having to go piece by piece, which is just nice and will save a lot of time. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I mean, I am that that's it for the patches for for this season five of Winter Wonderland Riders Republic, the whole thing. I've said that like 13 different variations, different times. I don't know how to speak anymore. Uh, Mitch, do you have any thoughts, any closing thoughts on Winter Wonderland again before we actually get our hands on it before we get into the game? I don't think so. I'm just scrolling the major issues and the minor issues. Everyone can look at that on their own time. It's a lot of pretty boring stuff fix some issues with mass races, fix the controllers vibrating uncontrollably while doing grinds. <laughs> yeah, that's so, good. So yeah, nice to have that. Save and, some battery uh, there. Fix people getting stuck in the air when switching from bike to ski or snowboard during flight. So just yeah. cleaning up some more things in the game, nothing major down there, we hit everything. Right on. Yeah, if you would like to continue the read, you can click the patch notes link down in the description. But if we are all ready to go, I think it's time to move on to the Riders Roundup. This week's Riders Roundup starts by way of the United States of America. Clip from none other than Bear Nips BMX Edit Volume 2, Bear in Mind. I love the name and I love his his look he's going on, especially with the Area 52. I think green skin was in the game at launch and, mm -hmm. you know, it didn't make much sense. I mean, sure, you can do it. But now that we have Area 52, it makes a lot more sense. And you can ride around the park just like an alien. But he is crushing it all over the map. I wonder how he felt about that Halloween cell shading. Before we get to the answer, it's time to move on to Ian Hawk BMX. Another one in area 52 this is welcome to tech 52 a riders republic bmx montage i mean what is there to say that has not been already said just go watch ian's latest video all right he, yeah he just always puts it out and the intro is really funny with his character dancing using <laughs> yeah. the green screen over top i love that that's how he introduces himself and his name in all of these videos yeah it looks like we uh yeah, we should just do that ourselves. All of those dance moves, not <laughs> like as our characters in the game, like we should find a green screen and put these dance moves. We got to do a dance off of all the Riders Republic emotes. Oh, all right. We'll make it happen after the Brett's Burgers commercial. Mm -hmm. Add <laughs> got, it to the list. <laughs> they're starting to stack up. They're starting to pile up here. But we will close today's video out showing it on screen. This one comes from two a relaxing ride through the Republic. Thank you so much for joining us for episode 56 out of our first 100 guaranteed episodes. And a special thank you, as always, goes out to our YouTube members, executive producers, Bone Crusher 2D, my dad, Coach 34, your mom, Mama Bell, and Robert G, along with our co-producers, fans and fans plus. And if you want to join them and become a member of our channel, you can just hit join down below and you'll get some cool perks like early access to this show, emojis and badges, a members only video per month, which we got to get a few out, but I know we'll have one because filming today was 
insane. We were just yeah. stopping a lot. So we have some funny clips to share with you uh, and you'll get some more. But if not, you can just subscribe and you'll catch all of our Riders Republic content, including this show and our TFG X game style competitions. That was a very nice way of saying dumpster fire. We're <laughs> going to close this week out. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Same place, same time for episode 57. I'm Nick. And I'm Mitch. And we'll see you on the slopes.